Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to model the famous Tower of Arabs or the Burj Al Arab in Revit. So this will be a tutorial in which I show you how to model the massing of this building and then later on you can use that massing in order to model the rest of the building. So I'll start off by modeling the central core as well as these two steel bows that give the correct characteristic shape of this building. Then I'll model all the floors or basically the building and also I will be modeling the cloth white sail that covers the atrium of this building and in the end I'll just model the little restaurant we have on top as well as the helicopter landing pad that can be converted into a tennis court okay but before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this video it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these every day and to model this building we need some information and I have come by these two images. This is the floor plan of the building and this is the elevation. It's hard to come by these plans for this building. There's very little information out there but fortunately this is pretty much enough to complete the building massing. So I'm just going to go open up Revit and I'm going to start in the architectural template and first I'm just going to set the units for two meters for this project and I'm going to type in OK, OK and now let's start adding the images first. So I'm going to go into East Elevation and here I'm just going to add the elevation of the building and before I do that I'm just going to change to add some additional levels. So I'm just going to go here into Level or you can use the LL shortcut to create more levels. So I'm just going to create one here and one here. Now for this level 4 I'm going to place it at 200 meters so you can just select the level go here find this elevation in the properties panel and I'm just going to type in 210 meters because I know this is the height of the helicopter pad of the building and we can use that to basically adjust the scale of the image and I'm just going to change this to 1 to 500 scale because it's quite a large building and then we can maybe make these a little bit larger as well. Okay so now once we have these levels in place, these simple four levels, I can add in the first image. So I'm going to go here to insert tab, find image, just go to desktop and find elevation and open it up. So I'm just going to place it like this and scale it a little bit then I'm going to make sure that basically the ground level of this building is at level 1 and once that's in place, yeah now we need to scale it so this helicopter pad is at level 4 and to do so I'm just going to type in RE for scale, that's the shortcut you select this portion here at the ground level you select the part here at the helicopter pad level and you just extend it up to level 4 once I've done that, I can change these levels, so I'm going to place one perhaps over here and maybe one over here. Maybe like that. Okay, now we can move this layer up to the top of the building and let's move layer 3 or level 3 at the helicopter pad level. So you just need to make sure that this, the level 2, is at the thickest or the widest part of the building, maybe it's a bit lower, so basically this little belly of the building. So that's level 2, level 3 is helicopter pad and level 4 is over here at the top. Maybe we can move this a bit down so it's at the top of the building, not the helicopter pad. So once this is all scaled properly, you need to take some measurements. So I'm just going to be using this measure tool, measure between two distances, and I'm just going to measure from this central core of the building all the way to the front. So here we have 94 meters, then I'm going to measure here from this part to this part, here we have, let's call it 104 meters, here at the top, let's measure it we have 64 meters. Okay, so these are the three measurements we need to keep in mind. So now let's go to the floor levels. So let's go to level 1 and here because we can't really orient ourselves we need to add some reference planes. So first I'm just going to go to architecture 
and use here reference planes or you can use the shortcut RP and let's just place one like so and let's call it A so this is reference plane A and let's go back into east elevation and again go reference plane so RP and let's place one over here that basically marks the end of the building or this part where the central core is maybe we can extend it a bit down and let's call this reference plane B so go let's go back into level 1 so we have here A and B reference planes make sure you have this intersection over here and that will be the beginning part of our floor plan so now let's go to insert image let's use our floor plan open it up and place it like so just maybe enlarge it a little bit place it here and then just by using the arrow keys on your keyboard you can just nudge it in place so it's centered around this here central core so just place it like that and now we need to scale it in place so go again RE for scale select here you select at this basically end point and then you type in the measurement and the measurement for this portion is 94 meters as you remember from the measuring part so we have scaled this image to 94 now let's go to level 2 and here let's place another image again floor plan open it up place it here make it a bit larger and then again by using the arrow keys you can place it and by zooming you make everything more precise and then again let's scale it RE and let's scale this to number 104 if I remember correctly yeah so 104 okay so this is scaled properly now let's go to level 3 this is the last image so here let's place it just go image floor plan place it enlarge it a little bit place it here nudge it in place yeah that looks about right again scale it and this will be at 64 so let's type in here 64 and there you go so we have these three images in place now if we go into east elevation you can see the building is widest over here so I'm just going to go to level 2 to create to start modeling basically this construction part which contains the central core as well as these two bows so I'm going to go to architecture and I'm going to model this as a model in place family you can use massing or whatever I'm, I'm just going to use generic model for this thing let's call it I don't know structural and let's start modeling so I'm going to use an extrusion and I'm just going to create an extrusion like so that goes all the way here and let's end it like this and again let's go all the way here so once I've created this I can select it mirror it around the central axis and let's fill it these two parts so let's fill it to this and this as well I don't know like that so we have this central core now this is probably not going to be matching the building so I just like to extend it a little bit kinda like so and don't worry we'll trim it later with a void so I'm just going to finish go into east elevation and here we have it so I'm just going to extend it all the way down and all the way up and as you can see it encompasses the whole building and now we need to use a void to cut it out to basically create our shape of the actual sail here and to do that I'm just going to select it and I'm just going to go here to wireframe so I can see through it and let's go to create void forms and void extrusion so I'm just going to go specify work plane by name as, and as you can remember the plane we need to be working on the vertical plane over here is plane A so just go OK and then let's start modeling the void so I'm just going to create an arc like so maybe going halfway here and another one over here going all the way to the end so maybe like that okay now let's create another one going like so maybe to here arc like this and another one over here okay so now I'm just going to create a simple line going downward here 
and let's close this up okay now let's add these parts over here so these structural elements like so this one here and the one here on top and then by using the split element tool so just SL for a shortcut you need to cut this cut this here here we already have this cut point so we don't have to and cut here as well and just by using trim and extend you can trim everything in place same thing here and here as well okay so once this is done we need to add just a portion of this here so make sure it encompasses the whole the whole extrusion and like so and here we have our void so just go finish let's go into 3d to see what that looks like and we can see our void so let's go to east elevation let's select our void okay here's the void let's go into level one and let's make it larger and now we can use cut geometry okay it already cut it so let's go into 3d and there you go so here we have our basically the central core as well as these two bows of the building and let's add this antenna over here that it has on top so I'm just going to go to level 4 and if you can not see your building just type in VR for view range and change this to unlimited go apply okay now you can see it and let's create just an extrusion over here just by using these lines trim this in place finish go to east elevation and let's just extend it all the way up and then let's create just another void to cut it kinda at an angle so just go by name reference plane A and let's just cut it like this go finish and then in 3D you can actually change the dimensions of this And there you go so we have this part let's just join geometry here and let's add the material to all of this so just go add material and let's use something white let's use this one just go okay yeah now it's white and go finish model so now we have the basic construction now we have to add all the floors and the actual sail made out of cloth and to do that we need to go to massing and sight so I'm just going to go here and in place mass just hit close let's call it mass 1 and let's go to level 1 so now I'm just going to set the work plane at level 1 and let's use a model line make sure that draw on work plane is selected and let's just create a line going like this and like that and let's connect it over here as well let's make sure it goes to that and let's use an arc over here so kinda like that so once this is finished you just mirror it to the other side and use an arc to connect it here so I'm just going to connect it and make sure you select it to see that it all lights up that's good and let's just add an arc for this here make sure it doesn't touch this so I'm just going to create an arc like so and place it here now you basically just repeat this all the way up And now let's just connect this up so you select these four or these three go create form you get something like that and you select these three arcs you go create form and you get something like that so once that's completed you can go just finish mass and then let's just select it and let's add some floors over here 
So I'm just going to go here into East Elevation. Let's make sure, okay, this is at 70, this is at 210. So let's just select this, go create similar, pick lines, make sure an offset it is at 10, and just let's just create floors at 10 meters, just so we can add some basic floors to this building. So like that. I think I doubled one floor over here. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so now we can go into 3D view. Just go cancel. Okay, now we can select this massing, go mass floors, select all the way down, check everything up, and we have something like this. Now you can go to massing and site, go floor, select multiple, so you just select all of them, you go create floor, and you get all the floors here. If we go into realistic, maybe it looks a bit better. Yeah, so we have our floors. So let's just add our helicopter pad as well as the restaurant here. And we can use that in this same family. So I'm just going to go edit in place and go into east elevation. And let's just go use our revolve. And for the plane, I'm just going to pick plane number or basically plane A. And let's create an axis line like this and a boundary line that goes kind of like that. Yeah, let's just create it like so and connect it up, go finish. So we have our helicopter pad and let's do our restaurant. So I'm going to go create extrusion and for the plane, I'm going to pick plane A, go OK. Oh, extrusion, plane A. Okay, so now I'm just going to create an ellipse like this, something like that, and place it over here like this. Maybe we can make it a bit shorter. Okay, you just place it like that, and you create one line over here that's kind of cutting it, and you need to split it in the middle. And you need to split this as well. And then just using trim and extend, you get something like that. And now by using an offset of one meter, I'm going to create something like this. And then I'm just going to change this line up like this and like this. Go finish. And then if we go into, I don't know, south elevation, let's just find that. Okay, we can see it here. Let's try north. Yeah, here it is. So you just extend it a little bit. And as far as I know, this is at around 25 meters. So let's just do 30 and here minus 30. Yeah, that's the size of the actual restaurant. And for the color, let's just change this to white as well. So just go OK. And there we go. Just go finish model. And here we have our Burj Al Arab or the Tower of the Arabs in Revit. Now, of course, you can add a lot more detail. You can add a curtain wall over here and everything else. But this is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.